What's up, folks? I've been noticing a little wobble on my uh, tire looking out my um, driver's side view mirror. And I noticed, you know, this just, this ain't right. So I jacked it up and uh, I'm gonna check the bearings in it because I'm suspicious that the bearings are bad. And I just want to show you how to do this. Um, what I've done is I've jacked up the trailer so the tire is off the ground. First thing I want to do is just give it a spin. Feel how it feels. It doesn't feel good. Now let's try to move it back and forth and see if there's any play. Oh no! Oh, wow, look at that. Folks, I need a new wheel bearing. This is how you know if you need a new wheel bearing. Stay tuned to my channel, folks. In future videos, it's gonna be a tutorial on how to change wheel bearings. Maybe. <laughs> Unless I have to send it to a shop. If I can do it myself, and I'll, uh, I'll make a video along the way, but I gotta get this down in a hurry because I expect this is going back to the shop for some motor work. Hopefully. First thing you wanna do, folks, is take your tire and wheel off. And uh, then you get your cap right here. This is what holds your grease in. Okay, to get that off, you just want to tap on it very lightly. I would use a wooden mallet or some other type of a. Don't use what I'm using, don't use a hammer. But just turn it around and tap on it, and it should pop right out. Oh boy. There's, uh, yeah, that's not good. That grease doesn't look very good folks there's been water in there you can tell let's clean this off and then we can get to our castle nut once you got that cap off that grease cap you should be able to reach in here to your uh, castle nut with a pair of uh, I like these wire cutters because they grip on it pretty good but you got a carter pin in here get that carter pin off what you want to do is just take the find the loop side of the carter pin and just pinch it in there and go like that just pull it on out yep set that aside so I'm just going to set it up here on these rusty springs now you can just probably take this off by hand no, nope, this one don't want to come off by hand. I'm going to get some channel locks and I'm going to get this off so I can pull this hub out. All right, now I got that castle nut off. I should be able to just pull this right on off like this. Oh, yep, came right off. Now I'm going to have to clean this spindle up and inspect it. Well, look at there. AutoZone has wheel hub and bearing kits. It's got the bearings in there, new hub, comes with new lugs and a cap. I went ahead and bought some grease. I'm gonna grease that up and uh, I bought two of them. The other one is uh, being shipped to the store. They only had this one there, so I'll do the other one later, but let's go ahead and get this one on there. All right, folks, what I've done is I've greased up my spindle real good. And by the way, that kit, does come with a carter pin, so you don't have to buy any. Let's go ahead and slide our hub on there. I'm paying close attention not to push the bearing out the front. There we go. And try not to lose most of that grease that's in there. Now I'll go ahead and replace my washer. Put my washer on there. My castle nuts a little gritty so I'm gonna clean it up before I put it on we'll be right back okay now I've got my castle nut cleaned up tighten it up on there and push that hub the rest of the way in folks that's how you place your hub on your boat trailer or your trailer just whatever doesn't have to be a boat on the trailer that's just universal trailer 
a hub replacement. It's a pretty easy job that just happened there. Uh, spindle was okay. So, uh, wow, that was pretty freaking easy, I'll tell you what. I'm going to put my wheel back on and go fishing.